Do I look like a fan cutout? Do you think they'll let me in? I just want to go to the World Series! Hey guys, don't you miss the World Series? I miss the World Series. I miss sports. I miss baseball. I miss all the things. I miss all of them. But you know what I just heard? World Series tickets are going on sale. Let's discuss. What's up guys? Welcome back. My name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. I know it's been a little while. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. The sports there, they're, they're slowly making their way back. Uh, but now that we've entered into October, the prime time sport that should be going on right now, baseball. Specifically, getting ready for the World Series. And we'll be postseason. Definitely one of my favorite things to watch. Can't wait to see what's going to go on. I'm really looking forward to the World Series. I will not be in attendance as I currently live, you know, north of the border and I Cannot travel down for it. Unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, last year I did actually attend the World Series. And if you go ahead, click up over here or here. I always forget which side it's on. If you click up in one of the corners, I'll have a video posted up there about my trip when I went to the World Series last year. I got there really, really cheap. Divisional Series are happening right now as we speak. Championship Series starting up next week. And then the World Series just a little bit after that. Ooh, very exciting. You know what I just heard? Little, little birdie told me. World Series tickets... They're going on sale. So what does that mean? It means you get yourself a chance to actually go ahead and see some sports live. Now, there's a few caveats to discuss. So we're gonna talk about a couple of things. What tickets are actually gonna go on sale? When is it happening? And are there any safety precautions you need to be aware of? Let's talk about all these things right now. All right, first off, what are we talking about? We're talking about MLB postseason tickets, but very specifically, not all of them. We're talking about National League Championship Series, and the World Series. That's it, that's all. No ALCS, no Divisional Series games, just the two series I mentioned. These are taking place in Texas at the Texas Rangers home ballpark, the new Globe Life Field that just opened up this past year and they've yet to actually have their inaugural season started there. So this is what they're gonna do. They're trying to get some people in the seats, try and get some games going, trying to make a little bit of money and in the process, give people something to actually you know, cheer for, get excited about, really root for. Fantastic. It's not gonna be the Texas Rangers because didn't quite make it, but that's, you know, that's besides the point. Anything on the AL side though, that's all taking place in California. Unfortunately, no fans are gonna be able to attend those games unless you're a fan cut out. So what are they going on sale? They're going on sale Tuesday, October 6th at 10 a.m. Central Time. Basically anything for 10 a.m. local, that's how it's going to happen. If you want to buy your tickets for the World Series, you can do so on MLB.com or TexasRangers.com. Very simply, they're selling all the games together at the same time for the Championship Series and the World Series. All going on sale, go ahead, free for all, just grab all the tickets you can't. Go crazy, go wild, it's gonna be awesome. A couple things to consider though, one, there is a ticket limit. Ticket limits of four. Four tickets per game. Pricing, not yet established, not yet determined. Likely to be in that, you know, 125 to 500 range, somewhere in there for face values, plus or minus, depending on what they actually decide on. Uh, we'll get a bit more information once they actually end up going on sale. Next thing, they're only selling about 28% capacity of the building, so that's about 11,500 seats. Texas does allow up to 50% of the capacity to be sold, uh, but MLB has just decided to only release about 28%. This obviously gives enough leeway in terms of practicing safe social distancing, making sure that they you know, meet any you know, guidelines in terms of security and protocols, all that kind of jazz, all that fun stuff. So where are the seats gonna be? They're gonna be all over the entire building and they'll make sure that seats are actually all within that you know minimum six feet distance apart from each other as well. They've also stated that any seats that are near, close to the field, close to the actual players, there's gonna be a minimum of 20 feet between them and the players. Now, like I said, there's a limit of four tickets per game. Now, what's the minimum, you may ask? Also, four tickets per game. Oh, interesting point, do you not think? I want to buy only one ticket, I want to buy two, I want to buy three tickets. I want to buy any number of tickets other than four. Unfortunately, it is not possible. What's happening, MLB is selling tickets in pods, pods of four, so therefore all four tickets are gonna be contiguous, consecutive, all beside each other, and they're gonna be sold as one pod, one pack, all together. You cannot break it up, you cannot break it up into one and three, two and two. Fortunately, you gotta buy the whole pack, no ifs, ands, or buts, and that's all you're allowed to buy. You can buy one for each game that is taking place at Globe Life Field. However, just keep in mind, you cannot buy more than four for any one game. A couple other things, safety-wise, masks are mandatory unless you're eating or drinking any food. Again, six feet distance minimum between each of the different pods and 20 feet minimum distance between pods and the players. There will also be, you know, hand sanitizing stations throughout the building. And lastly, there will be no bags allowed into the venue with, unless you have a medical reason or a diaper bag, that kind of thing. 
just gotta be careful. Last thing, last thing now. So you got your tickets, you know who you're gonna be going with, you wanna make sure that they all get their tickets. It is possible to go ahead and transfer your seats, therefore it opens up the possibility of seats actually being sold. Can you sell your tickets individually? The short answer, no. Do not do this. You are not allowed to sell your seats in any grouping other than a group of four, both on the primary market and secondary market. So if you, for whatever reason, decide that you've bought your pod of seats and you can no longer go, uh, you can only sell your seats as a pack of four. You cannot sell it as a one, a two, or a three. You must sell the entire pack together. It is not good enough to say, I'm gonna sit on my own and then put a gap between me and then have another pair of seats I'm gonna sell to somebody else, no. You must follow all safety protocols. You cannot do that. MLB does not condone this type of behavior. The state does not condone this type of behavior. Nobody condones this behavior. Peace. So if you live in the Texas area and you are very interested in actually seeing some baseball live, there are a few options available for you. National League Championship Series, World Series, it's all there, it's all ready for you. You can also buy your tickets on, you know, the Stub Hubs and the Seat Geeks and the Vivid Seats and all the other fancy places. But again, make sure when you're buying tickets, if you see anything for one, two, or three seats, do not, do not, do not buy them. You will not be able to get into the venue because you will run into the issue of social distancing and all the other safety protocols call issues. It is not safe for you. It is not safe for them. It is not safe for anybody. Do not do it. Only buy tickets in packs of four. Four, 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 four. And the last, last point, where do you actually buy your tickets? You buy them on MLB.com or TexasRangers.com. Both same thing. Doesn't matter which one you go to. It will be the same inventory available. I have the links down below in the description. So you can go ahead, jump on there, take a look at them and buy your seats that way. If you have any other questions about World Series tickets, ticketing in general during this era, anything about social distancing related tickets, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. I'll answer all your questions. I have a few more videos coming up. I know it's been a little while since we've had a little discussion, a little one-on-one. -on -one. It's the time we start seeing each other again. You know, I think it's time. I think we're ready. I think it's going to be okay. There are a lot of questions that have come up over time, so I need to make sure I get them answered for you. That's all I got for today, though. So if you're going to be watching some baseball, definitely do so in a safe manner. And See you guys.